Hi everyone, I am Heather Cronin, Director of School Counseling, and today we are going to review the course selection process so that you can select your courses for next year. As we speak, teachers are currently making recommendations for you in the PowerSchool portal. So I would advise you to please speak to your teachers about recommendations for next year if you have not done that yet. Your teachers should be willing to have those conversations and explain to you what level they're recommending you for. They also can give you ideas of different elective classes that you can take next year. In addition, please review the program of studies and look at the course description. Here is our timeline for the course selection process. February 9th to the 18th, we are going to open the PowerSchool portal for you to sign up for your classes. The portal will close on February 19th, so you must insert your classes before February 19th. Beginning in March, you will need to schedule an appointment with your school counselor to review your individual course selections and also to have courses approved. We want to make sure that you are aligned with your four-year plan and that you are meeting your graduation requirements. So as I mentioned before, please review the program of studies, which is on our website. Here is a link, and I will be sending this presentation to all of you so you can link right to the program of studies. As you are selecting your classes for next year, please remember to consider the graduation requirements and your specific four-year plan. So our current freshmen and sophomores, you must select 36 credits. You are required to take six courses per trimester, so you need to select 36 credits in the portal. If you want a study hall, you will be able to select that in the portal. And then when you meet with your counselor, please let them know that you did choose a study hall. Our current juniors, you will be seniors next year. So you are actually able to take between 30 and 36 credits. As a senior, you are only required to take five classes. However, please remember to consider your four-year plan. So if you are four-year college bound, um, colleges don't want to see that you're slacking off your senior year. They want to see that you're continuing to take in a challenging course load. So make sure you speak to your counselor about that when you meet with them. In addition, if you think that you want to go to school for nursing or engineering or for a specific program, um, they often have certain requirements that you need to complete in high school. So again, that's really why it's really important to consider your four-year plan while selecting your courses. So when you're meeting with your counselor, and um, current juniors, you'll also be meeting with Mrs. Schaffner, our college counselor, in the spring. You'll want to talk about those courses that you've selected to make sure that you are going to be competitive when applying to the colleges and majors that you're interested in. So, as I mentioned before, make sure you're scheduling courses that meet graduation requirements. Um, you can see the graduation requirements on page two of the program of studies. Consider your four-year plan. Consider trying new elective to explore new opportunities. If you're someone who doesn't really know what they want to do after high school, it's a great idea. We have so many different unique electives here at Want to Cut It. Try something new. You might be interested in that field. And talk to your teachers for ideas on elective courses that would be a good fit for you. They seem to know your learning style and your interest, and they may be able to recommend a course that they think you might really enjoy. So some common questions during the course selection process. What if I have a question about my recommendations? So you may be reviewing the recommendations that your teacher put in for you and you may um, have a question um, or have a concern. So we would advise you to speak to your teacher directly. They are the ones making the recommendations and they would be able to give you some insight into why they made a certain recommendation. What if I want a study hall? So as I mentioned before, if you want a study hall, you can select it in the PowerSchool portal. And then when you meet with your counselor, please let them know so they don't overschedule you. What if I cannot schedule a class I need? So sometimes in PowerSchool portal, um, courses that you may need might not appear if you're taking them out of order. So don't panic. Again, just when you meet with your counselor, they will help you get that course that you need. What if I cannot submit my course because I'm under scheduled? So when you go to submit your courses in PowerSchool, you have to make sure that you have so many credits. 
If for some reason you can't find a class that you need, as mentioned before, um, just pick any class. And then when you meet with your counselor, explain to them that you really needed um, you know, global studies, but that wasn't available to you because you're currently a junior, so your counselor will help you pick that course. Sometimes students are not able to take courses in order because they transferred in or because they have SST. Um, so it, it often happens that your, the courses that you're required to take may not appear under your grade level. So again, don't worry about that. Just make sure you can submit your courses and then when you meet with your counselor, they will help you. Can I choose which trimester and block I have a class? Well, that's a great question. But right now, you are currently only making the request for courses next year. We have not yet built the master schedule. So we don't even know when courses are going to be offered next year. And we still don't know who's teaching courses for next year. So it's really important that you are selecting the courses based on what your interests are and what you need. And then that will all fall into play after the master schedule is created. So meeting with counselors, I've mentioned this a number of times, but I can't stress how important it is. Um, you will need to make an appointment to meet with your counselor, either in person or virtually, um, starting in March. You have the month of March and April to meet with them. All meetings need to happen before April vacation. It's not a first come first basis, so don't panic. Um, it, it's not like if you meet with them first, you're gonna be more um, likely to get a class. That's not how that works right now. We just need to make sure that you're taking the classes that you need. Um, so we will be sending out emails to you know, remind you before March that you need to make those appointments. If you do not select your courses or do not make an appointment, okay, we will try to track, try to track you down, but we are really asking that you guys do this um, because with limited time and the limited ability to see you, if we're unable to see you or you do not select your courses, we're gonna end up picking classes for you. So we're gonna guess um, on courses what you might like. And again, we're not taking the courses next year. So we really wanna make sure that you're choosing courses that you want. So please make that appointment so you have a say in your schedule. Just a reminder, the counselor assignments, in case you do not know who your counselor is, it's by your last name. So if your last name is between A to C, you have Mrs. Waterhouse. If your last name is begins with D to I, you have Mrs. Frizoko. If your last name is J to O, you have Mr. Spinney. If your last name is P to V, you have Mrs. Frankhor. And if your last name is W to Z, you have me, Mrs. Cronin. Okay, so that was just some tips and information about um, the course selection process. But now I'm actually going to show you, um, it's a little reminder on how to select your courses on the PowerSchool portal. So I'm going to go through some slides, giving you directions, and then I'm actually going to log on and um, walk through it with you. So how to request courses on PowerSchool. So here is what you will see when you go onto your PowerSchool portal. Remember, you must go on yours, not your parents. And on the left-hand side, there's going to be something called class registration. So you click right on class registration. For each subject area, there's going to be a little pencil icon in the right hand side. And you're going to click on that pencil icon and that's when the list of courses are going to appear that you can select from. Now please note that subject areas with a red exclamation, um, as you can see I have a little arrow down below, are required. So you must select a course under that area with a red exclamation. So select the courses you are requesting by checking the box on the left hand side. So as you can see, I have selected Algebra 2 Prep and there's a little checkbox next to Algebra 2 Prep on the left hand side. And this course was selected because it was recommended, you can see my recommendation, from Mrs. Cut. She recommended this class for me to take. So I went in, I saw the recommendation, I checked the box, and then I scroll down to the bottom and hit OK. Um, and you got to make sure that you hit OK before you get out of the box. So once you've selected your courses, this is how they will appear on your screen. So as you can see, I have selected beginning art one and art in the community. 
a college accounting I've selected, American Lit. So those show the classes I have selected. If you want to go in and edit because you accidentally clicked the wrong class or you've changed your mind, you just hit the pencil icon again and make that edit. Once you've selected your classes, you scroll to the bottom of the page and you hit the submit button. You must hit submit or it will not save your classes. So as you also can see at the very bottom, it tells you the number of credits you've selected. So I look like I've selected 40 credit hours. So I will be able to submit because I'm over um, the 32. So once you hit submit, you're all set. If for some reason I didn't select a course that it's required, you're going to get an error message. This is an example of the error message you might get. So it's telling me I could not submit my classes because I didn't pick an English class, I didn't pick a math class, and I did not pick a social studies class that is required. It will also give you a message if you don't select enough credits. Once you hit submit and it all goes through, this is a screen that you're going to see and it shows you all of the courses that you have requested. And this is what we can see as well as counselors. We can see these courses and we can also see the recommendations from your teachers. So that was just some directions. But what I want to do now, just to really um, be sure you know how to do this, is I'm going to go into PowerSchool myself and just walk you through the process. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to actually do it on PowerSchool. So I've logged into my account, and this is what I see. I'm going to go over to class registration, and I'm going to hit that on the left-hand side. Then my registration screen will pop up. As you can see, I've already selected some courses. I've selected Intro to Business. I've selected World Lit. Um, but I'm going to go in and show you how to select a course. So I'm going to go into the art department and hit the pencil icon, click on the pencil icon, and then all of the art courses are going to appear. So I'm going to scroll down and I have not taken beginning art yet. So I can take that because there's no prereq. And then I'm going to take beginning art two as well. So I've selected those courses so they, they light up blue. Okay, and then that's what I've decided to take. And there's there are course descriptions next to each class, which is great for you to take a look at if you're not sure. Then I'm gonna scroll all the way down and hit okay. Make sure you hit okay or the classes will not save. So I hit okay and now beginning art and beginning art two have appeared under my classes. So that has been saved. So I also want to go in and show you um, what a required class looks like. So if I go to the math department, it looks like I've already selected Algebra 2 prep, but I'm going to go back in and make a change. So I hit the, the button, the pencil button, and it shows that, yep, I selected Algebra 2 prep and I was recommended by Mrs. Cutts. Well, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to scroll back down and hit OK. Make sure you hit OK or it's not going to save. And now my math class is gone. As you can see, a red exclamation point shows up because I cannot submit anything because I need to select a math class. That's a requirement. So if I scroll all the way down and try to submit, it's going to give me an error message. See, it says required math department. So I can't do anything until I pick a math class. So I'm going to go back up to math. And I'm going to click on the pencil icon. And then I'm going to go back to the course that was recommended for me, Algebra 2 Prep, click it, and then I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm all set. So now I've selected all my classes. I can see them, um, and I'm going to go down, and at the very bottom, it tells you how many classes I've selected. Right now, I've selected 36 credit hours, which meets the minimum, and I am all set. So I'm going to hit Submit. And there are my courses. So it's really just as simple as that. If you have any questions selecting your courses um, during this process, do not hesitate to reach out to your counselor or to myself, Mrs. Cronin, and I can help walk you through it. Um, I am going to email you this presentation so that you have it 
in your um, email and you can refer to it at any time during this process. So I just wanted to thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this. It's very important. Um, it's very important that you really play a large role in selecting the classes that you need and that you want and talking to your teachers because this is your schedule and um, we want to make sure that you're getting the courses you need for your future and that you would like to take. So good luck with the process. And again, February 9th is when you can start signing up for these classes. Have a great day.